Hello everyone, as you can see, this is the standard EPOS system for any business. They use it for the business purposes and stuff. Recently, the Windows system is gone. So today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get into BIOS and enable the USB boot due to reinstall the operating system. The operating system could be anything like Windows 7, 8, 8.1, Windows 10, 10 Pro, whatever it is. Okay, so first of all, make sure you, even this is touch enable but still make sure you do have the keyboard just to get access into the bios okay and obviously you should connect the mouse as well and you should have the bootable usb thumb drive so first we're going to put the bootable usb drive into the usb port my one is underneath which is right here okay it's connected and the power switch is right there so as soon as i turn on the power i'm going to come back to f2 all right so once i clicked on f2 it takes me directly to the standard bios uh, which is uh, inside h2o setup utility okay most of the time they do use that one so from here we need to change a couple of settings all right we need to get into advanced first and see the boot configuration as you can see the first option okay once you hit enter then it's going to take you directly uh, to the uh, actual option but there is nothing so we're going to press escape again and get back to the main menu now usb configuration also you need to check so USB configuration, it says the USB boot BIOS support enable, which is absolutely fine. And Windows 7 driver workaround disable uninstall. Okay, that's absolutely fine. And USB HA debug is disabled. Okay, anyway, we're going to make these enable anyway. Okay, so make this enable. That's fine. Once it's done, then... Sorry for the poor video quality because the screen is very reflective and it reflects a lot because gloss. Okay, so from now on, I'm going to press escape twice and get back to uh, get back to boot option, which is that one. From here, as you can see, the legacy boot type is already uh, on. But if your one is disabled or let's say select a different one then you need to choose the legacy boot type and then rest of them should be fine but one more time what you need to do make sure your usb boot i mean that one usb boot is enabled otherwise even if you put it in legacy boot it would not work out okay so from here we're going to go to the bottom one which is legacy hit enter and it says normal and now the second one is boot type order now this option would help you to select the boot priority hit enter it says fluffy disk drive the first one second is hard drive because of i'm reinstalling the windows from the bootable usb drive i have to put the usb on the top of the list okay so how i would do that first highlighted the usb one and then press f6 once you press, keep pressing F6, it's going to go on the top. If you do one more time, yeah, it's on the top now. Now, whatever we did, we're going to save it by clicking F10 and enter yes. All right. So hopefully now this machine will turn up from the USB. Let's check if there is any boot logo. Yes. As you can see, it says Windows is loading files okay so this machine and that machine almost same most of the epos system does have the inside h2o utility bios uh program you know as you can see the windows 7 logo is loading up and now we're going to see the setup page okay all right so from here you know what to do but anyway just due to the video purpose i'm going to go a little bit to the front eye 
okay you can choose whatever you want I'm gonna choose the United Kingdom for myself and hit next enter okay so the setup is starting this one would take a little bit of time it depend on your machine configuration some some machines are really you know high config and it doesn't take that long but anyway I'm going to choose, I have multi operating system bootable USB drive. I'm going to put Windows 7 Pro, hit next. Accept terms and condition, hit next again. We're going to do the clean, fresh installation, which is custom advanced. And now from here, it shows two partition, but I want to keep only one, so I'm going to delete it. But make sure before we delete it, back up all your data, otherwise everything is going to be deleted okay so as you can see there is only one drive it shows I'm gonna hit next and now the main installation process would progress and it would take like about 15 20 minutes to 25 minutes max okay so end of this uh, segment is gonna ask some terms and condition and stuff like that again or some it is gonna ask you to allow some permissions about uh, the interfaces and some options pretty much that's so okay so that's how you need to get into BIOS due to install the operating system in your touch EPOS system okay the key pointed are you should have the bootable USB drive you should have one keyboard one mouse and you should know which key is the BIOS option so for most of the machines are F2 okay f2 f10 okay now how would you find out that f2 is the bios key for your repo system or not well once you turn on you need to look into the screen properly it's going to pop up for a second and then it will disappear it's going to tell you either right here on the left hand side or right there on the right hand side at the bottom it's going to say like press f2 for bios or press f2 for setup press press f1 for setup or press F10 for utility something like that okay so so in that way that would go up to 100% and finish few tasks in here as you can see one and two and then you know couple of uh, agreement with the features and stuff like that I'm just forwarding the video with fast speed just to finish it and then we'll get to the final page and the job would be done so this is the final page now we need to choose the name it could be anything hit next and let's keep the password and the time setup and stuff like that and hit next and within a few seconds it's going to be ready as you can see it's preparing your desktop okay so windows 7 is much more easier than windows 10 if Windows 10 also is similar, same procedure to get into BIOS, enable the USB boot and do that. Now, if you'd like to know how to create a bootable USB drive, check the video link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.